Welcome back to Mac Break Studio. Mark and Steve here. We're going to jump right in. Final Cut Pro, and you're going to do some something with multicam. Right. A lot of people have written, have posted on various Facebook forums about multicam. It'd be really great to be able to take what you're seeing in the angle viewer and make it like a composite. So here's what I mean. If I press Command Shift 7, you'll see that there is a four-up display of a synced multicam clip. Right. The angle viewer shows all the angles at once. But your actual multicam edit it just goes from one angle to the next. Well, that's the nature of a multicam edit. Yeah. You're going to see one angle at a time, yeah. but people want to. Well, what say, if you want to see more than one at a time? I want to see all of the angles on the screen in sync at the same time. Wow. And then I want to be able to reposition them. I want to be make, make so, it like a 24 opening with my multicam clip. So then just take a, um, a recording of your screen of the angle viewer and blow it up. Oh, yeah, and then blow it up and it'll look, it'll look <laughs> awesome. Not. Okay, now. How but, can you but, so but how can you do this? this is actually pretty fun, and I thought about how to do this, and I think my workflow is great. And if you have a better workflow, please let us know. But yeah. this is what I would do personally. All right, let's see. Okay, so uh, the, well, since you're going to be layering multicam clips on top of each other, the first thing you want to decide is, and since you're compositing these, what layer do you want on the bottom layer? And that's going to be the angle you want to okay. choose first. What, what are we looking at here? We oh, have a multicam clip in a project. Yeah, is that what we this have? is just this is a multicam clip. It hasn't been edited yet. It's All just right, so it's one angle. It's one right angle, now. but it, it's one angle, but it's got three angles inside it. Yes. You can see in the angle viewer, right? Well, really four angles if you include the audio. Yes, exactly. Okay. We're only going to deal with three of the, the picture angles. So, yes. so I haven't even cut this yet. And again, because I'm not interested in that, I'm interested in compositing this, not cutting it. I see, it. I see. So here's a trick a lot of people may not be aware of. If you control or right click on the multicam clip itself, you could choose the active video angle here. Right now we're looking at the iPad, my particular iPad angle, but you can switch Another angle, notice I do that, the angle switches yep. in the viewer. Yep. And so what, why, am I, why I'm showing you this is you want to pick the angle that's going to be on the bottom right now. To start with. To okay. start with. Because it's the, because the, the pecking order is the layer stacking order. Okay. okay. So now, watch what I'm going to do. Or really the connected clip stacking connected, order. Connected, <laughs> connected, exactly. Because there are no layers. Um, notice I placed a marker in there. It didn't matter, did, look, it doesn't matter where you place a marker, it's just for reference. Okay. okay? So here's the thing, I'm going to hold down the option key. And I'm going to drag upward on this on this entire multicam clip. Drag upward. Yep. Release my mouse. I've just created a second. You've duplicated I'm, the multicam clip. That's right. And in it's sync on top of itself. Completely in sync on top of itself. Okay. I'm going to do that one more time. Option. Drag. Drag up. Nice. Okay. So now these should all be perfectly in sync with each other. In fact. Yep. The only thing here is I don't need the audio for all three clips, so what I'll probably want to do is I'll just completely just pull down lower the, audio, the audio, just lower the audio. Two. Don't okay. need it because I'm going to use the audio from from this bottom, bottom angle, yes. right? So Which, all, by the way, I just noticed the audio you're using is actually the clean, separate audio track yes, that's and some, not from the video clip. That's right. We're using the, the, the clean audio, yeah. recorded audio. So, okay. So now what? So so now, if you look here, I have my, my iPad angle down here, yep. but I want to change these other angles. So what I'm going to okay. do is control click on that active video angle for this. Let's just choose this. And let's choose iPhone. So that's I've changed the angle, and that's the iPhone angle. Okay. Okay. And let's go ahead and I'll right click on this and let's act a video angle. Let's choose Travis's iPad. Okay. So now you can see this I have a separate one. my iPad now is the active angle for yep. the bottom clip. Uh, the iPhone angle yep. is for the middle clip and Travis's iPad is the active angle okay. for the top clip. So now. But now we only see the top clip. The only see, right. So in fact, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off right now by pressing Command Shift 7. And I'm going to turn on the 2D transform control since I have the top layer selected. Mm -hmm. Notice now, as I scale this, it reveals the, right now, because it's revealing the iPhone angle directly below it. So, and by the way, as I'm scaling, I, I get that nice little percentage thing up in the corner, I scale at 50%, yep. and I'm going to go ahead and put this up in the corner So that like means 50% and width and height, so really it's exactly one quarter the size exactly of the original quarter, right. Okay. So I might put this over here, now I'm going to select this angle, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and... And the transform the trans effect is still in, in yeah, it's, active. It's, it's still active. Go ahead and scale this. Get this at about 50%. And I'll go ahead and drag that, and I'll put that down here. And because, and then you can do it with four angles, you can make a nice quadrant, but only because... You only have three angles Yeah, there. but that's okay, because I got, I'm, I got a plan, I got a plan. I'm just going <laughs> to grab this, and I'm just going to move this over a little bit like uh, this. Okay. See? So I have yeah, that nice, kind, of, nice. kind of a nice thing. But here's the thing. When I play this back, they're all completely in sync. I may have to ref I may have to want to keyframe and I may have to keyframe this to get this. Move it around. Move a it around. Bit, yeah. But that's okay. 
it doesn't take away my point. I'm doing compositing and everything's still in sync. Yeah. So point is, when you play this back, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the uh, transform controls. This should all be in sync. The whole thing upside down. Pretty neat, huh? Fabulous. So you've got three separate angles you're watching at the same time. So it'd be a cool thing. And you could trim these uh, connected clips so they only popped on at a certain time. So you could have multicam playing normally full frame for a while. Right. And then go to a split screen effect for part of the video. Absolutely. Very, very I, I cool. Think it, nice. it, it's, it gives you a lot of flexibility. And I thought, well, you can uh, multicam clips like any other clip. So why can't you just come transform? It? Yep. Fantastic. So um, I, hope, I hope you out there like that one. I kind of like it. Very nice tip. <laughs> Excellent. Um, Thank you, Steve. Thanks again for tuning in to Mac Ray Studio. Please check us out on rippletraining.com, and we'll see you next week. Follow us at Twitter, at Ripple Training. Yeah, Twitter and Facebook. Thank you.